Yeah, what I know is asking because uh <laughs> people on the server getting pink and then saying, yo yo, I'm playing, who am I playing? And then uh Sis is just like no 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 I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> people are all on edge thinking that they are up. Um, but yeah, actually, uh, just as a side note, Warano should be playing DNLC for losers. Um, actually, I'm gonna clear that up. Man, this seal has been on a roll today. I think I previously said that I really liked uh, Kakotan as a character. I haven't really had that much time to love her, but uh, she has probably one of the most, some of the most satisfying Hoki combos. Just like charging normals is like, and the fact that she like yells when you're like charging the normals is dope. Really good round there by DCL against Blue Link. But again, Kako and Excel also are like landing those first attacks. She can always have like a good amount of meter to work with. And as I said, mentioned earlier, she has some good reversals. So the fact that she can get meter rather easily is pretty good. Oh, building got hit there. Charge JC, leading into slashes. That's a good 4.5k. DCL being incredibly oppressing. And he knows that uh, Kakoton, sorry, Kakoin can get out of the corner at any moment with like the magic carpet. So he has been pretty good jumping, although he finally gets that. Oh, nice. EX Arrow seals it there for uh, Blue Link. That was a great, great uh, read there. <laughs> nice trade in of positions. EX Magic Carpet against Tornado. Gets caught up by the slashes, and DCL is once again pushing, pushing Blue Link to the corner. Ooh, nice 3B. Let's see how much mileage uh, Blue Link is gonna get out of this uh, Hogeki. Short and simple, just three follow ups with a uh, normal in between. Not bad. DCL misses just the Magic Carpet. And I think DCL is just gonna keep jump the jumping so that uh, Blue Link stays there in the corner. Oji Guard crashes there, but then DCL exits the corner with the help of EX Slashes. Good block there on the Magic Carpet. Ooh, we, get, we have them throws now, huh? And another close B. Oh, wow! Do we get a double down? Oh my god, we got a draw! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, this is... That was great, that was awesome. <laughs> but in the case of a draw, however, let me check. Because if I recall correctly, did one of them uh, win a round earlier? Let me check the, the bracket. Let me check on, on Discord. Okay, I think they still went back to the room, but basically, yeah, I was um, I was under the impression that one of them had won early, but a draw basically means that uh, instead of staying 0-0, they're just going to be... Oh. 
And yes, for Blue Link who's asking, whoever wins now takes the set, yes. Oh man, Shrek, if you're still there, uh, I would really appreciate one clip of that, but if not, uh, don't worry, I can go over the BOD later and uh, and get the clip myself. DCL taking some good time picking an assist, huh? Maybe Tools wasn't really getting that much mileage earlier. And he probably needs something that, instead of making his approaches safer, he can just deal with the arrows. Yeah, usually, usually for zoners, I guess that the assists that help you cancel out projectiles are chains and tornado. Although, even though tornado comes out really late, it stays active for quite chains, a bit. So, and tornado. Yeah, I guess it's just more cater also when you're in the corners to help you get it out of there. So. DCL is getting a lot better at blocking those uh, minor carpets. Oh, that whip 3B. Basically, for, for Blue Link, he actually doesn't really want DCL to be up close at all. If it were up to him, that so that he can do as much zoning as he can for the mid or full screen. But DCL has been, you know, playing random, relentlessly the whole tournament. Really good reversal there. Again, at the expense of your meter, but helps uh, Blue Link get the spacing that he needs for for his, uh, you know, ideal space uh, distance for zoning. Oh, he was hoping for an anti-air. Good, good, um, good uh, call there on the read from the jumping. Both players taking their sweet time. Oh, and actually, both get the first attack bonus here. DCL once again avoiding the magic carpet by with those jump-ins. Jump B doing a lot of work for Kakoton. But once again DCL gets caught up by the Ogi reversal. And now Blue Link just walks out of the corner. No problem. Oh, DCL didn't convert, didn't follow up uh, that uh, wreck I hit. Blue Link take, being really close at taking this. Uh, Dai Kick assist there. Making sure that he stays grounded. If he's gonna start avoiding my magic carpet, then I'm gonna start throwing Dai Kick. That you? Magic carpet gets blocked there. Good throw by DCL. Oh, and this could be it actually. If he gets the full Hogeki, this is gonna lead him to death, but actually. Okay. He manages to catch. Um, Blue link there on the on the jump, and now we're taking it down to the wire. Man, now if this if this is a draw again, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> oh, okay, tornado is super punishable, so blue link getting that uh, first attack bonus. Oh, actually, the magic carpet came out despite uh, DCL leaving the jump right after. Because again, th for those who, you're, who don't know, the magic carpet is not that you are able to throw it up uh, manually. The enemy has to be standing on the magic carpet for you to uh, come out. So it's basically kind of like a, how could you call it, like a proximity based special? Oh wow, that was super dominant by Blue Link there. And he would take it 2-1 after this because of the previous draw. Not 2-1 for this set, but 2-1 for the whole stuff. 